Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. My name is Michelangelo, and today, guys, we're going to be speculating the potential release date of Resident Evil's first DLC coming out next month. Now, it's been almost a year since the game landed on the store shelves during the pandemic, mind you, and it released on May 7th, 2021. Now, it's currently April 2nd when I'm filming this, so the game has, still has about a month and five days at the time of this recording till it hits its one year anniversary. And between that one year of it being released, we have not had any Resident Evil Village DLC released to us at all. Now, mind you, I do understand that Capcom's biggest priority is not Resident Evil at the moment. It's actually some other games that they are developing. And that contrasts what I always tell people, that obviously Resident Evil Village, their current game in the Resident Evil franchise that is on store shelves, mind you, that is currently still supposedly going to be still supported, is not their biggest uh, concern at the moment. I think personally, Capcom's biggest concern at the moment is not the Resident Evil franchise. Of course, they want to pop out their first DLC and I can understand, you know, even Resident Evil 7, a lot of people don't understand this, Resident Evil 7 took its one year anniversary to drop DLC 2. Not a lot of people know that and I think that's what's going to be happening with Resident Evil Village here. Now, if we use history as an indicator, that's what I'm proposing here, but we could also be receiving story DLC packs. I mean, we have so much cut content with Resident Evil Village that they could honestly make it a expansion at that point. An expansion which is not a DLC in what I'm talking about. Obviously, it's labeled as a DLC, but I'm talking about its own storyline. Now, Ada was cut for several reasons and it was pretty much interfering with the main story that could be its own dlc now in this video i'm not going to be giving out ideas because that's not what this video is my main purpose is to give insight of what could potentially be happening in just a month and a half of time here now we know resident evil village dlc has been in development for about nine to ten months and we know this because E3 2021 Capcom attended and they came out and said that Resident Evil 8's first DLC is now in development. Now, this could have meant a lot of things, like they could have been halfway done or probably a little bit done. Because obviously as the size of Capcom, we know that it didn't just start there. I mean, they have so much cut content that I'm pretty sure a majority of that content is going to be making up its first DLC. That's just me, but I could be wrong. Now let me know what you guys think about that. But back to what I was saying, I think the biggest concern for Capcom at this very moment is just releasing the DLC. I, I think that it's releasing this and also finishing up other Resident Evil games and DLC content in the time that we have because I'm pretty sure as this is just me speaking they're trying to come out with Exo Primal, uh, Pragmata, and the new Street Fighter and I think those games are not going to really sell as much as they want to because let's be real Resident Evil is one of their better selling franchises but that could just be me guys that could just be me I, I have not ever seen a Pragmata game come out because it's a new franchise right and it's something completely new and so it's going to be either a hit or miss for a lot of people or either something that's revolutionary now i'm always someone who just likes to look back and observe on what we currently got and then try new things um but like i said that's just me but i'm thinking that the first resident evil 8 dlc is going to be coming out around this month and i feel like we're going to be getting trailers you know gameplay soon interviews and all that because man what a perfect time to announce it then it's one year anniversary but that should be it guys i hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video if you guys did please drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys later